The next uh, model we'll hop into is our farm share order fulfillment. So if you remember, we extended our delivery radius and we wanted to include third party carriers and uh, DCs to handle our, our produce uh, to basically uh, make it so that we could deliver to much farther regions. And so on uh, our order fulfillment model, we are optimizing for uh, handling costs and delivery costs combined. So our total costs of kind of fulfilling an order. And uh, my team actually already ran an experiment and sent me uh, the link. So we will hop into this experiment uh, without running it uh, directly. And what we see here is that we added a constraint um, for inventory at the distribution center. So it's often uh, we we actually we were able to get uh, information uh, from the the DCs that we were sending too much produce and they couldn't handle that capacity and so they started giving us capacity data back about the current inventory that was sitting at the DC how much capacity they could handle from us um, as we were filling orders and this allows us to, to reduce the food waste um, as we send orders out to those DCs. So when we added that constraint. Um, we can see here from, you know, production to staging is that it increased our costs, which isn't great, right? We wanted to, um, over time, we want to decrease costs for this order fulfillment model. But the reality is um, that we also have, you know, sustainability goals. And so reducing that food waste uh, is also a priority for us. And so this, uh, this particular experiment, you know, generates that conversation of, you know, yes, we are increasing costs. Um, but let's let's dive in a, a little bit further and understand how that's also meeting our, our sustainability goals. Again, we have, you know, custom metrics. And so the two custom metrics we care about here are the components of our value function. Uh, they are one delivery costs. So this is, uh, you know, from production to staging, we can see that delivery costs increased. This to me isn't that surprising because what we are saying is each DC can only handle a certain amount of things. And so we probably end up pushing more uh, orders to farther DCs. Um, and so that delivery costs um, you know, per carrier ends up increasing. The other thing uh, we're looking at here is a handling cost. And so this is you know, per DC, uh, each, each time we're sending an order there, right? They're, they have a certain handling cost. Uh, unsurprisingly, this kind of stayed roughly the same, uh, and that's because we've you know, selected DCs that have similar costs uh, for handling our orders. So uh, if we look at a particular run, uh, like I said, you can dive into uh, a particular run for that model. And if we look at that, you can see uh, you know, what the assignments are for the particular orders. Um, so we have you know, eight carrots and they're going to DC4 uh, via carrier one. And so these types of models just allow you to get uh, you know, nice context into what's actually happening um, in your operation.